Praise the Lord, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to Spiritual Nourishment for the Soul. The topic we would be reflecting on today is rejoicing in the Lord. Philippians chapter 4 verses 4 tells us, Rejoice in the Lord always. Joy is a feeling of great pleasure and happiness. It's the emotion we feel when life is good, when the sun is shining, when our team is winning, when we are healthy, happy and heartened. Most people do not typically speak of the happiness of heartbreak, the pleasure of migraines or the bliss of losing. Philippians is the most joyful book in the Bible. The Apostle Paul uses the words joy and rejoicing 16 times in only 104 verses. Yet, he writes from a dirty Roman prison, a place we would typically associate with misery and trial. My dear brothers and sisters, the simple reason behind this joy that St. Paul has within him is because he rejoices in the Lord. He rejoices because of the Lord and he rejoices even though he is in the prison because he knows who his God is and has faith in his everlasting power. Praise the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, life here on earth is not a bed of roses and we all do have our struggles and challenges in life. It is not a bad thing to have a bad day at work or at school or at college. It is not a bad thing if you are running late today for your work. It is not a bad thing to have a bad teacher at school or a bad boss. It is not a bad thing to suffer from a sickness for so many long years and still not be healed. It is not a bad thing to be laughed at or joked about or even gossiped about. My dear brothers and sisters, rise above all of this because you and I can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Amen. Today, Abba Father, Jesus and the Holy Spirit are inviting you and I to rejoice because when we rejoice, the angels, saints and the whole heaven rejoices with us. You may not have a supporting family or friends whom you can run to with your worries. But remember, the Lord is always there because He has promised that He will never ever forsake us. Claim this beautiful promise of God, dear brothers and sisters, in your lives every day and rejoice in them. In this life here on earth, when you do not find a reason to rejoice, just remember, Jesus, your friend, who laid down his life for you and me, just so that we can be spared from the wrath of God, just so that we can become a new creation. With his precious blood, he has washed our sins white. Praise the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, there are so many reasons to rejoice in the Lord. In today's reflection, I am going to speak about four ways we can rejoice in the Lord. The first one, meditate on the word of God. The word of God is the Lord's heart poured out to you and me. It is his love letter to you and me. The solution to our every problem is in his word, my dear brothers and sisters. We have to just open it and our lives will change 360 degrees. Praise the Lord. The word of God is our life guide which is free of cost and is always 100% correct. As Christians and members of God's family, we are so lucky to have so many benefits unlocked for us. My dear brothers and sisters, the Lord truly speaks through his word. So when in any struggle, when in any difficulty, when suffering from an illness, meditate on the Lord's word and you will find your reason and the word of God will definitely give you a reason to rejoice. 
the second remind yourself of the promise of the lord you may be going through a season of hardship and as humans we may find it hard to believe that god is still with us based upon what we see in the natural but despite what we know and see we serve a god who is always near there is no wall he won't kick down or mountain he won't climb up to save us my dear brothers and sisters there are 8810 promises made by god in the bible my dear brothers and sisters claim all these promises every day especially during times of your struggles god promised us that he will never leave nor forsake us praise the lord allow this to be your constant daily reminder that no matter what you are dealing with there is always another person within us who is stronger than anything in this world praise the lord always remember the lord is near to the broken hearted and saves the crushed in spirit so rejoice rejoice in the fact that god is still with us and that we are all under his mighty wing of protection the third point cast your disappointment at the feet of jesus nothing robs our joy more than harboring on the frustration As humans we all do it but Saint Peter tells us cast all your anxiety on Jesus because he cares for you what a wonderful and powerful declaration my dear brothers and sisters is there any friend in this world who would take up all of our burden other than our friend and savior Jesus I don't think so because our friend Jesus really loves and cares for us. Now at this very moment let us cast all of our disappointment, sadness, weariness, depression, any other negative feelings at the feet of Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, don't sit and harbor on how bad the season of your life is going. but release that disappointment unto God and take delight in him because when we cast it to God we are saying to God God you are my ruler you are the ruler over everything so i give this season of my life to you my dear brothers and sisters god's love is everlasting for all of us and it is a love that cannot be even measured praise the lord the fourth point resting in god's timing it is hard to see the cup full because all we see is disappointment but my dear brothers and sisters once we turn our eyes back to him and rest in his word then and only then will we have the joy that saint paul speaks about because in god's time he will make all things beautiful in our lives praise the lord as i end the reflection i would like to quote philippians chapter 4 verses 8 finally brethren whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are honest Whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things are of good report if there be any virtue and if there be any praise think on these things rejoice always in Christ Jesus have a blessed day in Jesus name this is Paul Rodriguez from Kadosh Marian Ministries God bless you all also requesting My dear brothers and sisters to kindly subscribe to Kadosh Marian Ministries and like and share our videos with your near and dear ones thank you